boy what a video I have for you guys today. Today I will simply give you all the secrets how to go from literally zero to 20k plus per month in no time at all. I know it sounds too good to be true, sounds like a scam, but it will make sense when I go over everything. It's not that difficult as all these different gurus claims to be. They just generally make you confused. So let me actually show you what I mean and how you actually can do this yourself. So I simply call this the leverage acquisition funnel. And one tip before we start, and I said it in some previous videos as well, whenever I'm listening to, listening to someone, I like to sort of learn from what they do compared to what they say. They usually tell you to do one thing, either through their free content on YouTube or even through their paid content, their courses or whatever. Everything I would be going over here, I'm doing myself. I'm doing it for all my clients. I'm helping them with that. It all starts on the top here. So what we want first is attention. Attention is some way, form or another. And I will talk about this from an SMA or an agency perspective. But as I said, this concept can be applied to whatever online service-based business. So the way you get this attention is through three ways. It's either outbound, examples can be cold calling, cold DMs, cold emails, paid ads such as meta ads, Google ads, YouTube ads, TikTok ads, whatever. And you want simply attention because if you run an SMA, of course, you want clients. You are selling a service to your niche. But once you have your niche, you have your offer and everything, it's time that you actually get some attention. Outbound is usually the very best to start with if you are a complete beginner, because the nice thing is you can do these things here basically for free. Cold calling and cold DMs can be basically done for free if you are a beginner. Cold emails takes a little bit, like if you want to do it properly, you need to set up some form of system and sort of pay for that, but it's not that expensive. If you want any tips, just reach out to me on Instagram. Good thing about outbound is that it's super scalable as well. Like once you sort of figure out the concept of leverage and how to actually use that in, the, in an agency, it, it's super easy. Your input is 200, you get out to appointments, great. However, why not, instead of you wasting eight hours now and getting two appointments out of it, why not just hire people that can make those $200 for you, and then you get the two appointments out of it without you needing to waste your eight hours. Make sense? Because once you figure that out, it's super easy to scale a business. And you might wonder, well, of course, like that sounds good and all, but how do I pay these people? That's the nice thing about it. Because you can pay people from, let's say, cold calling or cold DMs by performance basis, meaning that they, you either pay them on a per show basis, per qualified show, or even a commission basis, meaning they get a certain fee when you actually close a client that they have set an appointment with for you. More on that in another video, probably. Just want to mention that. And the next thing is also general advice that I hear all the time from these different gurus. Don't do any paid ads until you're like at least 10K per month. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. So I mentioned it in the last video as well, like this broken mindset. And it really is like a broken mindset. If you want like to receive real success, if you want to really grow a business and do something most people can't do, you need to risk a little bit. You need to sort of do things that other people don't. And one of those things is simply paid ads because I'm telling you, it's the best way to scale an agency, to scale your appointments coming in and actually close sales on a consistent basis. Once you figure it out, super scalable. Once you have a, let's say, you pay X amount of money for a an appointment. If you want more appointments, you just spend more money. It's as simple as that. I recommend, because let's say, paid ads. It doesn't need to be that expensive. Let's say you start out with a $900 budget per month, meaning 30 bucks per day. 900 bucks, it might sound like a lot, but if you are doing, let's say, cold email and want to do that properly, let's say, let's say set up a system through that way, getting leads, setting up emails, doing all the softwares, that might cost the same amount. And paid ads can be so, so much more efficient because you don't need to deal with replies coming in, no follow-ups or whatever. Everything is done through the ads. So that's something I really recommend. Meta ads specifically, I, um, that's what I have done myself the most. And moving on from this. So now, of course, I hope you understand attention. These two ways are great. However, we have a third one, which sort of includes in the funnel, which will make sense. And now I hope you don't get too confused by all these different boxes here. So try to focus, try to focus for a little bit and just focus on this inbound here for now. So you have the three different ways to get attention, outbound, paid ads and inbound. And inbound is simply like a long-term play. When, when you start out from zero, you won't get like prospects interested in working with you when you post a YouTube video. It's simple as that. Once you be consistent and build an audience, that is a super, super shit code in the future because you can get an insane amount of volume if you get enough attention. And then also the, the type of volume that come in and the type of attention you get is super, super great really, just because 
that they, they have sort of built a connection with you before they actually book a call. I will explain later how this sort of ties in into the whole model and just simply makes this an absolute cheat code. Simply as it says here as well, like position yourself as an authority in the market. That is your goal because that's really the sole reason you're buying. People don't want to buy something from someone they view as knowing less than themselves. The whole reason you're even watching this video is because you view me as some form of authority in the market. I know what I'm talking about. All right, that's the reason you're watching this. That's the reason you might consider booking a call through the link or reach out to me on Instagram or whatever. That's the sole reason. If I was just a nobody, I didn't have any knowledge to share, you wouldn't watch this, all right? That's the really goal you want to do with inbound. And in the beginning, as I said, it might take a while for you to sort of build an audience and that can be the end goal. However, you don't need that much of an audience to make this work. Um, I promise you it will make sense. So. Moving on. Now, when it first stage, you get attention from either uh, outbound paid ads or inbound or all of them. And what you do with this attention, you want the attention to go to your offer. And your offer is really how you simply solve your market's problems. And what I recommend to do, as it says here, is to solve all the problems from start to finish. Let's say you work with agencies, you do appointment booking. If you're starting out, that by all means, do that because you are good at that. Don't try to make it too complicated. However, if you are a little bit more experienced, make an offer that sort of solve your niche problems, not just one, because that is when you can have a really, really great offer and you can charge high ticket for your services. Again, you get the attention, you, you redirect it to the offer, and if the offer is good enough, you will develop interest out of this, all right? Um, and yeah, I, will, I promise I will explain how this sort of ties in now. Because now when you get the interest, people will book a call because they want to figure out more about your offer, if it's good enough. Now we go to the nurturing process, and here goes back to inbound. Because once they book a call, you want to funnel your prospects and the booked calls into your inbound channels, where you are positioning yourself as an authority in the market, you're showing client results, showing you are actually credible, and you can actually deliver on your promises, warming the love leads up even more. And these channels can be like Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn. So here's the ties again in again, simply 10xing the nurturing process. So they go back to the inbound. They show up to the call. Now you have a conversion rate. And again, the inbound will make sure if you do it correctly, that you will 10x your conversion rate because everything comes from inbound. It can get your attention. It will get you a much better nurturing process, actually getting the people from interest into actual book calls. And it will also make sure that the people that show up have a 10 times more interest in your services because now they have sort of seen who you are. They have seen what you can do for them. They understand and they can see your market, your brand and everything, which means your conversion rate will also 10x. So my point is having a proper inbound system, even without that many subscribers, just properly set up. Uh, means that you will sort of 10x your results in the whole funnel. Because now the outbound and the paid ads traffic that you get and the attention, they are getting funneled to your inbound. Meaning even though let's say the uh, leads that come in from the outbound and the paid ads, they are completely cold. However, if you have the inbound channel set up correctly, they will be warmed up before the call. Meaning you have a lot higher chance of actually closing them on the call once you book it. All this really leads down to high paying clients, meaning you can make more revenue. So. Again, don't just think that the only point in having an inbound or like social channels is to have a big audience. That's not true because you are getting attention from other places. You might do uh, outbound or paid ads, but if you can funnel that attention into your inbound channels, you will see so much more success because there are so many different SMMAs agencies out there. Everybody sounds the same. They send cold email, they do cold calling, whatever. The thing that differentiates the successful ones from the unsuccessful ones is simply inbound and everything I talked about here that the inbound can do for you. They, they simply are able to position themselves as an authority in the market. If you just send out a cold email to someone and they, they, they search you up, they can't find any website, they can't find anything about you, they have only received a cold email. Do you think that actually will book a call with you? They get so many emails. Why even bother showing interest to someone that doesn't have any social presence online? It doesn't make any sense. They will go with the one that do the cold email, but then when they search them up because they're all a bit more interested, they have the social proof. They, they, they come to their social channel. They come to their YouTube, their Instagram and see the amazing client results they're getting for their clients. The, how they actually are an authority in the market. They know what to talk about. Now, the prospect that came from the cold outbound 
around becomes warm because they actively want to work with you seeing all your incredible results and everything you have in your nurturing process in the inbound channel. Simply provide this asymmetrical leverage I see here because again, this applies to all the different parts of this funnel. If you haven't already, start now with your inbound channels. This is how all the different gurus out there are making money. They might be telling you to do strictly outbound and then go from there. I really hope that you have a lot clearer view of how to actually go about, let's say, starting SMA if you're a beginner or grow it if you are, let's say, making 5, 10K per month and want to grow it even further. I hope that makes sense. Have a really good day. Bye.